All right, guys, so we just finished our test for the uh, epoxy, and it's gone off. Seems pretty hard, sandable for sure. So we're gonna try sanding this now. Uh, we totally failed as far as sealing the uh, bottom, and epoxy was just leaking out everywhere, so this green tape did not really do well on this rough surface, so I recommend using some kind of other tape, like uh, this tuck tape kind of stuff was a lot stickier, might seal a little bit better. My cameraman Corey here is not adverse to this kind of procedures. He does all sorts of fun stuff with hollow core surfboards. Stuff we're gonna get into in the future. And he says that uh, the 3M tape, it's like a blue exterior wallboard tape or whatever works really well and seals. So too bad we didn't have any of that. <laughs> but uh, next time we will definitely do a little bit better job sealing and taping the bottom. But let's see if we can sand this finish off and uh, not have any discoloration. And then we'll do a test with the polyurethane to see if we're going to have any issues. So it looks like it's sanding off pretty good. Yeah, it's hard to tell if it's seen any staining. I'll have to put some floor. These ones need more sanding because that's definitely stained kind of around that. Anywhere there's rotter seems to be a more porous wood. Seems like it's a bit of spalting and, and a bit of rot around the wood there and it's just soaked in really well around that area. So. Now I sprayed a little bit of lacquer on this area here and then we put some on, but I think the lacquer, the wood soaked up a lot of it and then the, the epoxy's also soaked in. So let's see how that sands. Yeah, definitely soaked in some of the grain. The grain all takes the finishes different, right? Some of the parts soak it in, some parts don't. A lot of variation in this elm, but you can see the epoxy is definitely blotchy still. So let's just try a little splotch here. Yeah, it seems like the where I did the lacquer, it got splotchy really bad. Whereas over here, this sanded up pretty nice. Mind you, I was using a 60 grit, so that's obviously going to take off the material pretty quickly. Um, but I don't see like any definite, you know, outlines of where the epoxy are. It was like this puddling. I can't see any weird kind of blends together. I guess I can see a little bit of the epoxy outline there.
So I had the tape all over here because some of these cracks from the surface went right through to the ed to the live edge. So I had to kind of tape this all. And because of the, you know, the kind of punky bark, what it was, the tape didn't stick very well. And a lot of the epoxy was all over this edge right here. You can still see some shiny spots. And there was a huge void right here I had to fill. And so the epoxy was kind of piled up. Thankfully, it didn't adhere super well to the, to the barky foamy layer, whatever the heck you call that. I'm sure it's got some scientific name. And uh, so I was able to kind of peel the epoxy off a lot of it. And then my little uh, die grinder here is working just beautifully with this kind of rounded pointed bit. I can kind of get right into all the nooks and crannies and kind of grind out the It kind of throws little shavings all over the place that you gotta wipe off, but no big deal. Yeah, that just makes cleaning up the edge go a heck of a lot smoother. Take forever to try and sand that. Now I can just hit that a little bit with the wire brush. Right here, I've got um, the epoxy kind of kept soaking in and I was just like, I kept topping it up, kept topping it up and it just kept soaking into these cracks. These vo Some of these voids were just huge, huge. The voids were huge. So I just kind of let it be and then you can see there's a little bit of depression in, in here and there's still some voids where food could get stuck and everything. But the epoxy down below is all hardened up now so it should be easy to top these up. The stuff won't keep soaking into these cracks. Who knows how deep they go into the wood. So I'm going to do another coat of epoxy and I'm going to add a little bit of extra catalyst even though I totally screwed it up last time. Uh, I think that I put an extra catalyst in my big batch, which heats up in the pot really quickly, and then it went off too fast. I waited too long to start pouring it. I tried and wanted to wait for it to set up, and yeah, it just backfired. So, but if you put a little bit extra catalyst in, it will go off fairly quickly, but you'll still have about 20 minutes of, of you know, time to pour and work the stuff before it starts to go off. So I'm just going to do that. That way it hardens really quickly and I can sand it and get a finish on this today and I don't have to wait extra long because I just don't like to wait. I'm so impatient. That's why I screw so much stuff up, but whatever. Haters gonna hate. guys so that is as far as I've gotten on this video this epoxy stuff takes a long time I found that pretty much there's no way to do this in one coat you keep filling it you keep filling the voids you keep popping the air bubbles with the torch and then you come back 20 minutes later and it's soaked down and depressed into there so 
do it in two coats. I find that works okay. It takes a bit of time, but it works great. You just fill up the voids as much as you can. They're going to sink down a little bit. You come back the next day, sand it all, and then just touch up with a little bit of extra epoxy to bring up the little low spots. And then one more final sand a day later, and you're good to go with the finish. So we've got uh, the center beat, the the middle piece here is almost ready for finish. I'm just doing the final sand on it. I can't wait to put a coat of polyurethane. It's like this really, it's called the good stuff made by Emmett's wood or something like that. It's really nice finish, super satin, just brings out the color of the wood beautifully. What I found worked really well was the Tyvek, the Tyvek tuck tape type stuff. It sticks really good, sealed up all the undersides of my beans so I didn't get any drip through hardly at all. So I recommend using that Tyvek tape because that was money work. Way better than the masking tape for me. If you have any other information, you guys, uh, on different types of wood, please leave it in the comment section down below. I love for these, uh, I love for the comment section in my video to be kind of a place where people can come and get information and learn and grow because that's what this channel is all about. And I have learned a ton doing this epoxy. So shoot me a comment. Ask me questions, ask other people questions in the comments. Let's keep this dialogue going. I really appreciate that. Now, something to look forward to in the next video is we've got our four finalists. We've narrowed down the teacher competition to four finalists, so we're going to show you those in the, next, in the next video and get you guys to vote on who you think made the best design for a samurai t-shirt. And then all of the finalist designs, we're going to make it a t-shirt that will be available on the shirt shop in the next video. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, Samurai out.